Um, this morning, what I was thinking about in terms of something to move with while we practice is this idea that so often the expectations that we take on are really the expectations of others <laughs> and what it would it feel like if we stepped into this practice in these 60 minutes and we set that aside and we trusted that we can really just show up as we are and however we don't need to show up in any particular way we don't have to accomplish anything in these 60 minutes beyond stepping into the present moment and really allowing the body and the breath to lead us. Um, and again, setting expectations aside, right? The body doesn't have to show up in a particular way, right? Just meeting it where it's at, being content with what the body has to offer in each moment as we travel across the yoga mat. Um, and focusing on being more of that like um, passenger, yeah, the observer, the just noticing awareness of how the body feels in each shape and how steady we can keep our breath throughout. And so, again, just allowing expectations to be set aside and allowing ourselves to be really in tune with where we're actually at this morning, um, physically, energetically, emotionally, and within our minds um, and letting that steer the ship. So we're going to start um, in Shavasana, lying on the back body, and we'll eventually move from there. So go ahead and lie back and get comfortable. Just take a moment to settle into the support of the earth beneath you. As you allow your entire body to adjust to that support, Allow your eyes to close. And as you start to drop into the awareness of sensation and breath, let's begin with curiosity, noticing how the earth feels below. And how the movement of your breath feels within. Noticing if there is any initial tension that you can release. Help you soften and surrender a little bit more into the embrace of the earth. And as you feel your body melting into that support and into this moment, allow your breath to deepen. And allow each exhale to stretch out nice and long, slow, steady, and complete. Every inhale, connecting you a little bit more intimately to this moment and to the awareness of your body, your physical vessel. With every exhale, we set aside expectations. We set aside thoughts of the future and thoughts of the past. And we arrive at the intuition and the wisdom of the moment. And you continue to connect to your breath. With each cycle, using more and more of your lung capacity to draw energy into your body. And with each exhale, transitioning, arriving, and settling in. And as you continue to move your breath throughout your body, it's taking a moment to ask yourself what you need. Not just what you need in terms of a physical practice. What does your heart need? What is your mind craving? And how can you offer yourself that in these 60 minutes? 
How can you customize each moment of your practice to move you in the direction of those goals, those intentions? And if it feels true for you to bring one or both hands to your heart, just connecting to those inquiries and to your personal intentions for this time. And take three rounds of cleansing breath just to settle in more completely and to set these intentions together. So as you're ready, take a really deep breath through your nose. And as you're ready, open mouth, exhale to release. Sticking two more at your own pace, take a big breath in. The cleansing exhale out. And once more, fill your lungs nice and full. And the clearing exhale, let it go. just in your own time and at your own pace, eventually start to find your way to a full body stretch. Start to reach your hands up overhead, different length from your fingers to your feet. Add in any intuitive movement, maybe that's creating space between every fingertip, maybe that's creating circles to your ankles, your wrists. You might point and flex your feet and then start to bring both of your knees into your chest and here also finding just any intuitive movement maybe a little rock from left to right maybe you draw some circles with your knees either moving them together or individually and then Eventually interlace both of your hands on your right shin and then extend your left leg out across the earth. As you allow your left leg to get heavy, draw your right knee a little bit wider and down towards your right shoulder. And take a big breath towards your belly. And follow your exhale to find your way into your supine twist. As you pass your right knee across your body, allow your right shoulder to get heavy in the direction of the earth. Soften into your twist and let gravity encourage you a little bit closer to the ground. And send one slow breath along the entire length of your right side. As you exhale, be soften just a little bit more into that rotation. And keep your right leg draped across your body. You're gonna reach your left arm towards the back of your yoga mat so you can roll onto your left side body into this like half fetal pose. Allow your hips to tip over enough so that your right knee can settle to the earth. And then option to stay here is feeling the length along your left side or option to bend your left heel towards your seat. You might have to lift your heart up a little bit so your right hand can catch your left foot. And settling in to create a big stretch to the front of your left thigh and through the front of your left hip. So you draw your left heel in, breathe into that sensation through your left quad. As you breathe out, think about relaxing your right shoulder out of your ear. Maybe even actively draw your right shoulder down away from your skull. Let's take one more breath in. And as you release that breath out, release your left leg long again. As you roll into your back body, roll into a figure four right ankle stacked on top of your left thigh. And as you bend your left knee, you can either land your left foot to the earth or start to bring that whole figure four towards your body. 
Find a strong flex to your right ankle and then maybe explore a little bit of a rock from side to side. Starting to create some initial openness through your right hip. And then keep your figure four in your legs, but land your left foot down to the ground. Draw your navel to your spine, take your hands behind your head, elbows nice and wide. And then find a big breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna keep your figure four shape in your legs, but you're gonna crunch up through center and twist your right elbow towards your left thigh. And you do not need to create connection here, you're just creating a lift and rotation. As you inhale, start to open back up through center, heart comes to the midline, left foot goes to a hover or the earth. And then same thing on your exhale, crunch up and in, twist your right elbow towards your left thigh. Okay. For three more, we'll inhale to expand open. On your exhale, figure four, crunch and twist. The last two, breathe in to expand through center. On your breath out, curl in and rotate. The last one here, we inhale, open up. Exhale, lift and twist right elbow towards your left thigh. And then as you release your left foot back to the ground, head and shoulders relax. Extend your right leg up to the ceiling and reach around your right leg for just a momentary hamstring stretch. Maybe point flex circle through your right ankle as you inhale. With your exhale, you're gonna release your right leg long across the earth. Maybe using core connection to gently release your right leg forward. As your right leg lands, draw your left knee into your body. Interlace your hands on your left shin, then take your thigh wide and down. So finding a little bit of openness to the hip as you take a big breath in. And start to make your way to your supine twist as you breathe out. And settling into your shape, finding a really slow and intentional breath along the entire length of your left side. With exhale, sinking into that twist, letting go into the depth of your rotation. I'm gonna take one more breath here. And then we're gonna find our way into that half beetle pose. So reach your right arm towards the back of your yoga mat. As you roll into your right side, you get an option just to stay here or option just start to bend your right heel towards your seat. And then perhaps your left hand reaches down to catch your right foot, putting that big stretch down through your right thigh or quad. You might draw your navel towards your spine to add a little bit more resistance to the stretch. Think about creating length through the back of your body as you stretch your tailbone forward to the front of your yoga mat. I'm just take two more cycles of breath. And just like we did before, when you're ready to release, you'll eventually release your right leg long, and then you're going to find your way into your figure four with your left ankle stacked on top of your right thigh. And just deciding on the depth of your figure four and then checking in to see how your left hip feels, maybe finding movement or maybe choosing stillness. So now for one more breath to your left hip. With your exhale, keeping your figure four legs, just release your right foot down to the ground for a moment. Pull your navel to your spine. Take your hands behind your head, keeping your elbows nice and wide. Then fill your lungs with an inhale. On your exhale, you're going to lift through your legs, lift through your head and shoulders, and twist your left elbow in the direction of your right thigh. 
On your inhale, open it up through center, navel continues to pull down. Then same thing, exhale, lift and twist, left elbow twist towards your right thigh. And last three, we're going to inhale, open up. Follow your exhale to lift and rotate. And here for two, inhale, expand. And exhale to contract and twist. The final one, deep breath in, open to the midline. And as you breathe out, lift and rotate. As you release your right foot to the earth and your head and shoulders to the ground, send your left leg up to the sky. Take that moment in your hamstring stretch. Point flex circle through your left ankle if that would feel good. Breathing in, let your exhale lower your left leg down to the ground. And as your left leg lowers, start to make your way into your full body stretch one more time. Reach from your fingers to toes, big breath in. And on exhale, we're gonna make our way up into a cross-legged seat. So your knees can come to your chest and you can rock and roll forward and back, or you can sit over to one side or the other. And then bring your right shin in front of your left to start. Go ahead and take a big circle seat to the sky as you inhale. On your exhale, take your left hand to the earth and reach your right hand up and over for a side body stretch. Get heavy through your right hip, take a big breath in. And then your exhale, your right hand's gonna draw you into a big circle sweep to the second side. So reaching down to the left and then sweep it forward, moving through a bit of a forward fold. Right hand lands by your right hip as you find your side body stretch, second side. And then anchoring through your left hip, breathe length through your left side body as you inhale. And then just reversing as you exhale, sweep it forward. And this time, find your way all the way up, both hands to the sky, breath in. On your exhale, hands come to the fronts of your knees. Draw your heart forward and through like a cow spine. So lifting up your heart, untuck your tailbone, big inhale. And then your exhale, cat spine, hold onto your knees as you round the back of your body. Tuck in with your head, tuck in with your tail. And from here, go ahead and sit up tall. Just switch out your shins, bring your left shin in front of your right. Your inhale, big circle suit to the sky. This time as you exhale, goddess your arms, let your elbows go wide. And with a breath in, reach your hands to the ceiling. As you breathe out, interlace your hands overhead, flip your palms to the sky. The heels of the hands press up. Give it one more big breath in. And then your exhale, cabbing your spine again. Think about rounding through your upper back. Press the heels of your hands forward and down. Tuck in through your chin, tuck in through your tailbone. As you rise back up, fill your lungs. And then go ahead and release your hands to your knees. And we're sitting up tall with your inhale. You can take your elbows a little bit wide here. So kind of like our gecko pose, we're gonna dip our left shoulder to the midline. Turn your heart down towards your right knee. The in breath brings you back to center. Your exhale to you bend your elbows, dip your right shoulder towards your left knee. Twist your heart down into the left. Okay, from here, as we bring it back to center, we're gonna make our way into our tabletop pose of so finding all fours. And once you stack up through your joints, just one time inhale to your cow shape, lift your heart, lift your tailbone. On your exhale, cat pose round your spine. As you make your way through neutral, you're gonna tuck your toes and start to make your way back to your downward facing dog. Taking a moment to find any movement that would feel good here. You can let it be intuitive. Let your body lead you to what it needs. And start to walk it forward into your forward fold at the top of your yoga mat. 
as your knees soften and really relax the weight of your skull. Allow the weight of your head to help create length through the entire back of your body, along the backs of your legs and the back of your torso. With your next inhale, lifting up halfway Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen through your spine, extend from crown to tailbone. And then exhale, forward, full release. We'll rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, take a big breath in as you reach high. And your exhale, goddess, your arms, let your elbows go wide. Your inhale will stretch your fingertips to the sky again. Then exit a forward fold, hinge at your hips. Breathe into another half by lift, by length and strength. Then exit to your high plank, plant through your hands and step your feet back. Take a nice full inhale. When your exhale, knees up or down, lower all the way to your belly, all the way to the earth. As you arrive on your belly, untuck your toes, low cobra. Utilize the strength of your spine to float your chest off your yoga mat. Big breath in. And then exhale to lower down. Moving to our gecko pose on our bellies. Take your hands wider than your yoga mat. As you tighten your fingertips, stack your elbows over your wrists. And draw your shoulders back out of your ears. And then inhale to lift up, see your torso, any amount. Pull your rib cage forward. On your exhale, dip your left shoulder in and twist your gaze to the right. Deep breath in, lifts you through center. And exhale, second side, right shoulder sinks in, rotate to the left. And then inhale, find your way back through the midline. And exhale to lower it down. You draw your hands by your low ribs. Breathe into your upward facing dog. We'll exhale to downward facing dog, hips to the sky. So you arrive back in your downward facing dog. Use an inhale to reach your right leg to the ceiling. And exhale to bend your knee and open your hip. Create that scorpion tail through your right side. All right, give it one more big breath. Pull your navel to your spine, feel your right glute light up a little bit more. And as you breathe out, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand, coming into your lizard lunge. Go ahead and lower your left knee down to the ground. And as you breathe in, reach your right hand forward. Press down to your right foot nice and strong. And on your exhalation, find your twist and your right hand towards the back of your yoga mat. If you'd like to bend your left heel towards your seat, maybe even your right hand catches your left foot. Feel your heart stretch forward, away from your pelvis, creating more length as you inhale. And as you exhale, if you have the hand to foot connection, go ahead and release that. Bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot again. We're gonna pivot into a modified side angle. So turning your left knee to the left side of the room, your left toes rotate to face the right side of the room, twist your left knee to the sky. Take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, go ahead and just release your left hand back to the earth. Unwind back into your lizard lunge. Tuck your back toes underneath and lift your back knee off the ground. And stepping into a three-legged dog, plant through your palms and utilize your core strength to reach your right leg to the sky, big inhale. And your exhale, shift forward to your high plank. Pause for your in-breath. And as you breathe out, chaturanga or back to downward facing dog. So option to lower halfway or all the way. Breathe into your heart, opening up dog or cobra. Then to get back to your downward facing dog, hips from the sky. As you return to your down dog and inhale, it's gonna lift your left leg to the ceiling. On your exhale, bend through your knee and open your head. Pause here for a breath, navel pulls in, left glute lights up. 
and start to step your left foot to the outside of your left hand using your core to help it there. As you make your way to your lizard lunge, release your right knee to the earth. Think about pressing your left foot down and energetically drag your left heel towards the back of your yoga mat. Extend your left fingertips way out in front of you. Slide your rib cage forward with your inhale. Then on our exhale, we'll find our twist. Option to stay here. If you bend your right heel in, perhaps you find the catch. Think about drawing your sternum forward and up. Deepening that stretch through your front line as you inhale by creating a big, proud chest. With our exhale, left hand comes to the inside of your left foot. We'll find that pivot open into a modified side angle. So as you rotate your hips towards the right side of your yoga mat, reach your right hand to the sky just for one big breath in. And that's a pretty deep opening. And exhale back to center into your traditional lizard lunge. Lift your back knee off the earth and find your way to your three-legged dog, left leg to the sky with your inhale. On exhale, we slide forward to high plank and take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, you choose chaturanga or downward facing dog. So whatever serves you in this moment. As you make your way back to your downward facing dog, and inhale's gonna reach your right leg to the sky again. With exhale, bend through your knee and open through your hip. Stay, or maybe you tip into your wild thing, sending your right toes behind you, open your heart to the sky, big inhale. With exhale, we'll start our journey back to our three-legged dog. So release your right hand to the ground, reach your right leg to the sky, big breath in. This time, step your right foot forward in between your hands to your low lunge. Left knee's gonna hover into a cow lunge, take a breath. And as you breathe out, cat lunge, hamstring stretch, lengthen out your legs. From here, bend into your right knee and start to find your feet of a warrior too. So left heel's gonna pivot to the earth. As you have your roots, go ahead and let your hips get earthy. Get proud through your chest and then root to rise, Virabhadrasana too. As you find your warrior two, reconnect to that slow, steady inhale and slow, steady ujjayi exhale. We'll maintain the bend in our right knee, breathe in to reverse your warrior right hand, reaches up and back. And with your exhale, side angle, swim forward. Left hand lengthens to the sky. And from here, reverse your triangle. Take a big breath in. This time, extending to your right leg as your right hand reaches. With exhale, we're going to turn all 10 toes at the long side of our yoga mat. And then as you bend into your left knee, we'll find a twist. So left knee bends. Take your right fingertips to the earth and rotate your left hand to the sky. Take a nice full breath in. As you exhale, turn all 10 toes to the back of your yoga mat, pausing in a low lunge. And then go ahead and press to your feet, high crescent, rise all the way up, lift up to your heart and hands. With your exhale, interlace your hands over your head, flip your palms to the sky, take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, you're going to dip your right knee to a hover, rounding your spine like a cat spine, press the heels of your hands forward. As you inhale, rise up and reach up. On your exhale, goddess, your arms, elbows go wide. Let your hands continue down beside you as you tip your heart forward in. Get off the table. <laughs> as you tip your heart forward into an airplane lunge. Driving to your left heel, your chest is elevated off your belly. Take an inhale. And exhale, your hands down to the ground to frame your left foot. Rotate your right heel to the earth, deep side angle, send your right hand to the sky just for an inhale. And as you exhale, your right hand's gonna sweep overhead and bring you through a wide legged like forward fold, all 10 toes of the long edge of your yoga mat. 
With an inhale, lift up halfway, create length and space. And exhale, low lunge to the top of your yoga mat, rotate to the front. Leaning into your right foot, gentle standing splits and your left toes to the sky with a big breath in. And as you exhale, bending both of your knees, we'll step into our chair pose. Drop through your hips, lift up through your heart and hands, big inhale. Exhale the airplane through your arms, hands sweep down beside you. We're going to transfer our energy to our left foot and start to rise up strong with your right leg to your one-legged mountain pose. Take a moment to settle into your standing balance. Take a big breath in. Then figure for your right ankle on your left thigh. As you sink back into your one-legged chair, bring your hands to your heart. And be sure to work your elbows towards your right shin bone. Slide your sits bone back in space. Think open chest and take a breath. As you're ready, press through your left foot slowly. Start to stand back up with your right leg, just unwinding the way we came in. Take a full breath in, traveling back through your airplane pose. Sweep your right leg behind you, your arms beside you, and then breathe length from your crown to your right foot. With your breath out, crescent lunge, right toes release to the ground. Lower your right knee to the ground as you lift up through your heart and hands, full inhale. Adding in our side body stretch, let your left hand fall towards the earth and reach your right hand up and overhead, creating length along your entire right side. There's no rush, but as you're ready, breathe both hands to the ceiling again. As you breathe out, hands to the earth. Lift your back knee, three-legged dog, send your left leg to the sky. When you're ready, bend your knee and open your hip. And decide if you want to stay here, if you'd like to tip into your wild thing. Maybe your left toe step behind you. And you find the openness across your heart. Engaging through your center, we'll go back to our three-legged dog. Take your time to land your left hand to the earth. Using your core, send your left toes to the ceiling with your inhale. Step your left foot forward between your hands as you exhale. Cow lunge, right knee's gonna sink low, open your chest. And exhale to your cat lunge, lengthen through your legs. And setting up for your warrior to bend into your left knee. Rotate your right heel down to the ground. And think about using your muscular energy instead of momentum as you root to rise up, Vira Vajrasana too. Arrive into the power of your legs and then reestablish your ujjayi breath connection. So intentional inhales and exhales through your nose. Following your next inhale, reverse your warrior. Left hand's going to sweep up high. With your breath outside angle, lean forward. Think about spiraling your sternum to the ceiling. Reverse your triangle from here. Lengthen through your left leg, scoop your left fingertips up to the sky, big, big breath in. And then as you turn all 10 toes to the long edge of your yoga mat, you're gonna bend into your right knee and find your twist. So as your right knee bends, take your left fingertips to the earth and your right hand to the sky. Press your sits bones back in space and take an inhale. And we'll rotate to the back of our yoga mat, low lunge as we exhale. High crescents where we're headed, root through your feet, so to inhale to stand up top. And on your exhale, interlace your hands overhead, flipping your palms up to the ceiling, breathe length into your spine. Your breath out is gonna be a bend through your left knee and then count your spine as you press the heels of your hands forward and push your rib cage back. So think about like trying to spread that space between your shoulder blades and your rib cage. As your ribs slide back, your hands press forward. We'll inhale to rise and reach up. And exhale to your goddess arms, open across your chest. Let your hands continue to fall beside you as you tip your heart forward 
into your airplane lunge. Get powerful through your back thigh. And make sure you're driving down through your right heel so your right seat is active. Give it one more inhale. And exhale, hands come down to the earth to frame your right foot. A deep side angle, rotate your left heel down for a moment and twist your left hand to the sky. Big breath in. When you're ready, left hand sweeps you into your wide-legged forward fold. Rotate around. From your wide-legged forward fold, breathe into a halfway lift. And then with your breath out, you're going to turn the top of your yoga mat, framing your left foot in your low lunge. From the power of your left foot, gentle standing split, sweep your right toes to the sky. Now for one big breath into your hamstring stretch. And as you breathe out, bending through both of your knees, step into your seat, Ukatasana chair. Okay, find length as you inhale, drive your heels down into the ground. Then airplane arms of your exhale. Your breath in will draw you up with your left knee. Start to stand up. Left leg comes with you. Soften your shoulders out of your ears as that breath empties away. Your next inhale, the crown of the head lifts up higher. And then keeping that length and lift, that buoyancy through your body, figure for your left ankle onto your right thigh. Hands might come to heart center, or again, you can work your elbows towards your left shin bone. But the thing that's sliding your pelvis back in space is your rib cage and the crown of your head stretches forward. Take one more cycle of breath in your figure four. When you're ready to make your transition out, take your time. Trying to find that steadiness in between each shape, driving to your right foot. Start to stand up with your left leg, take a breath. We'll move back through our airplane pose, slow and intentional. Just take flight. Breathe connection through every limb of your body, every moment of your body, every moment of the shape, and then step it down into Anjaneyasana. As your left toes land, let your left knee land and lift up so your heart and hands. Awesome, we'll go to our side body stretch. So let your right hand release towards the earth beside you. And send your left fingertips up and overhead. Take a nice big breath in and out. As you find our way back to center, both hands go to the sky. Then release your hands down to the ground. Lift your back knee off the earth and headed to our three-legged dog. Plant your palms, reach your right leg to the ceiling. Big breath in. On your exhale, take your right knee to your right shoulder. Slide forward. Three-legged dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Then exhale, right knee towards your left tricep. Cross underneath yourself. Headed to a figure four down dog. You're going to flex your right ankle on top of your left thigh, bend your left knee, and then push your hips up and back. So you wanna make sure there's a bend to your left knee. Open your right knee away from your body. Let's take one more moment in this figure four down dog, and step your right foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. Good, turn all 10 toes to the left, bending your left knee for this time either side lunge, or maybe skandhasana, maybe get a little bit lower if that's available in your body, if you feel called to go there. If you're in your skandhasana, you might bring your left arm on the inside of your left knee and rotate your right hand to the sky, spreading your collarbones open across your chest. And then on breath out, we're gonna pivot to the back of our yoga mat. As you travel through your lunge, high crescent, we inhale to rise up. In your exhale, interlace your fingers overhead, flip your palms to the sky. Think about lifting up first as you inhale. Right knee's gonna dip to a hover as you cat your spine and press your hands forward with exhale. Breath in to rise up, reach up. On your breath out, goddess arms. This time all the way forward into airplane pulse. 
Tip into your strong left leg and find your flight. Take one more breath in your airplane. Find a little softness in your left knee. Bring your right knee with you to stand. From your one-legged mountain pose, take a big breath in. We're going to shift into our figure four again. So right ankle on your left thigh. Hands to the heart as you sink in towards your seat. Now, we're going to add in a twist if you would like to. So for the twist, your heart's going to be rotating to the left. You can either start with your right hand holding onto the sole of your left foot, using that to turn your heart to the left and then reach your left hand to the sky. Or maybe if you'd like to, you can start to work your right elbow towards the arch of your right foot, even if you don't get connection. And then from there, find the prayer twist. Uh, so one's not necessarily better than the other. One is maybe a little bit deeper and requires some more space in the body. But personally today, this morning, right hand to right foot, left hand to the sky feels best for me. As we rise back up, just one more moment on one leg. Bring your right knee with you. Take an inhale. We're going to soften the left knee and dive all the way through a standing split as we exhale. So bend your left knee as much as you need to to bring your hands to the earth. Reach your right toes to the sky. Big breath in. Step your right toes to the back of your yoga mat. Breath out. Right knee lands to the ground. Lift up to your heart and hands on Janayasana. One more time in the side bend, left hand falls low, stretch your right hand up and overhead, big breath in and out. From your Anjane Asana, bring your hands up through center and land your hands to the ground. Half splits, lengthen out your left leg. Option to slide your left foot a little bit forward, option for yoga blocks here, or fingertips or full splits. So any variation of a split. You could also choose to find a hovering half split. So with a little micro bend in your left knee, back toes tuck, hover your right knee off the ground. Think about untucking your tailbone as your tailbone lifts to the sky. Heart reaches to your left toes for one more inhale. And release your right knee to the ground as you exhale, bend into your left knee. We're going back to our three-legged dog so as you Right knee peels off the earth, plant the ear palms, and inhale your left leg to this ceiling. With breath out, left knee towards your left shoulder, slide it forward. Inhale to your three legged dog, re extend. Exhale towards your right, tricep cross underneath yourself. Then flex your left ankle, figure four down dog. As you stack your left ankle on your right thigh, bending through your right knee, push your pelvis up and back. If that figure four down dog doesn't work for you, you can also find the scorpion tail dog in step. We'll then step our left foot forward to the top of our yoga mat. Turning all 10 toes to the right, you're gonna bend your right knee into your side lunge or perhaps your skandasana. And from wherever you are, if you want to, you can find a variation of a twist. So in Skandasana, your right arm's on the inside of your right leg and you're rotating your heart open to the sky. Left hand tall. We'll journey to the right, turning to the front of our yoga mat. And we'll make our way up into our high crescent lunge. Big breath in. And your exhale, bend that interlace of your fingers, flip your palms to the ceiling. Breathe your ribcage up off of your pelvis. And as you breathe out, dip your left knee to a hover, round your spine, press the heels of your hands forward, press your ribcage back. From here, we rise up again. And as you goddess your elbows open, Start to hinge forward into your airplane pose. Moving into our last bits of effort, we fly forward. Start to offer one big breath to your airplane. Eventually, bring that little micro bend through your right knee. You'll gather your left knee with you as you stand up. Once you feel steady here, figure four. 
left ankle socks over your right back. And again, maybe you choose just to work right here. Again, allow yourself to be where you're at. No need to rush anywhere. Maybe if you add the twist in, your left hand's going to the arch of your left foot and you're rotating your heart to the right as your right hand reaches high. You also have that option of left elbow to the left arch. Whatever feels best for you. Maybe you choose not to take a twist at all. Maybe you fall over. <laughs> when you're ready to make your way up and out, go super slow to start to unwind from the twist first. Press down for your right foot to rise up with your left leg. Just one more moment on one single leg. Bend your right knee a lot. You start to tip forward into your standing splits. So it's almost like going into a one-legged squat. And once your hands are on the ground, then lengthen your left leg to the sky with your inhale. Left toe step back, lower your left knee to the earth. Anjane Asana, lift up to your heart and hands. Then creating your side bend, let your right hand fall beside you. Send your left fingertips up and overhead. Take a breath. From here, both hands go to the ceiling. Then we'll make our way into our half splits, full splits, anywhere in between splits. Option for a hovering half split. Just make sure that you have a lot of support around your right knee joint so you're not hyperextending to your right knee. Long spine, take one more breath in whichever twist you've chosen. And then if your left knee is lifted, lower it down. Bend into your front knee, your right knee. Back toes are tucked. Lift your back knee off the ground. And step forward to a forward fold this time. Softening through your knees. Take a moment in your forward fold, Uttanasana. We're finding a little extra softness in your knees. You're going to take the palms of your hands to the outsides of your shins, your calves. And then you're going to press the palms of your hands to the midline. Push, push your shin bones out into the palms of your hands. So you're creating opposing action here. Palms pressed from outside to the midline. Shin bones are pressing wide into your palms. Just spread your sits bones wide. Then go ahead and release that opposing action. Release the push. Inhale to a half way lift. And exhale through Malasana squat, softening through your knees. Walk your feet as wide as you need them to be for your squat. Adjust the angles of your toes and your knees and sitting up tall. Okay, send your left arm on the inside of your left leg down to the earth and then twist your right hand to the sky. Big breath in. Once you release that breath, release your hands to your heart center. Then switching out, right arm on the inside of your right leg, twist open. Find your inhale. And exhale, hands to heart. Take one more breath in your Malasana squat, nice and long through your torso. Then release your seat to the earth. Send your legs out in front of you. Take an inhale to reach your hands up to the sky. And your exhale, maybe a little softness in your knees. We're going to hinge forward first, forward fold. Spending three cycles of breath here. After your third cycle of breath, go ahead and rise up and reach up with your inhale. 
And using the strength of your center, slowly descend down to the ground with your exhalation. Navel pulls to spine as you roll back on vertebrae at a time. Once you arrive onto your back body, you take a full body stretch, reaching from fingers to toes again. Breathing into the length and the space you've created. And as you breathe out, bend your knees and take your feet about as wide as your yoga mat, adjusting as you want to. So this is customized to your hips. We're gonna tick tock both of our knees over to the right for a little pinwheel twist. You have the option to stack your right ankle on top of your left thigh here. So again, everything's always adjustable, but knees are tipping to the right. Feet are wider than hips distance. And the optional add-on is your right ankle or right thigh bone stacked on top of your left. One more breath in. With breath out, if you have a stack of your right leg on top of your left, go ahead and unhook that. Slowly migrate your knees to your center and then over to the other side. As your knees tip over to the left, option for your right leg to stack on top of your left leg any amount. So that can be more like ankle onto thigh, or you can slide more of your shin bone down your right leg so that you have a little bit more of like an ankle leg situation. Customizing to you, take two more cycles of breath. And eventually you'll unhook left leg from right leg. Bring your knees up to the center and maybe take a little windshield wipe for a moment, sending your knees back and forth side to side. Now we'll take a supta baddha kanasana next. So your supine butterfly, soles of your feet come together, knees open wide. You might bring your hands to your belly to your heart or one to each. As you close your eyes and settle in, starting the process of releasing away all effort. Reconnect to the rise of your inhale. The release of your exhale. You can choose to stay here for as long as you'd like. Otherwise, over the next five or so cycles of breath, making your way into your Shavasana, into your final relaxation, adding in any final movements or shapes along the way. If you want to take a happy baby, that might feel nice after the shapes you travel through. You could take something like a plow or a shoulder stand a different twist or hip opening. And just eventually allowing your entire body start to surrender into the earth's support again. And as you release down into the ground, as your eyes close, maybe take a big breath in through your nose. 
And then open mouth, exhale, release that breath out. And even for our Shavasana, even for these last few minutes of our practice, can we give ourselves permission to set aside expectations? Doing our best just to be in the moment, present with stillness. And doing our best to set aside any judgment about how these last few minutes of the practice go. There are thoughts, there are thoughts, and that's okay. If there are emotions, there are emotions, and that's okay. Knowing that you have your breath as that anchor should you need it. You find that your mind has started to drift. So for one more minute, bringing focus back to body, breath in the present. Maybe returning to the intention that you set at the beginning of your practice. Maybe just checking back in with each level of the body, heart, and mind. Breath and sensation. And as you notice sensation, just softening the edges of any sensations that arise. Softening a little bit deeper into the earth beneath you. And then maybe bring one or both hands to your heart. And we'll close our practice in gratitude. So always pausing to honor the practice itself. The tools that it provides to offer us deeper connection and deep healing. We pause in gratitude of our bodies. Right, the physical vessel that moves us through this human experience. Let me pause in gratitude of our breath. Right, the life force energy that sustains us and makes each moment that we experience possible. And so through breath and body, movement and connection, right, we find this community of yoga. And we honor it with one more deep breath in through the nose. One more open mouth, exhale, just let it go. May yoga always offer us the perfect path to, path to compassion, leading us to find greater compassion towards ourselves and each other and the world around us. May our practices serve as our teachers, guiding us to live with authenticity 
and to always live with love. Thank you so much for being here and namaste.